Daybreak. Helen Jones, BBC Radio Merseyside. Now we're asking, what's wrong with the Church of England? And uh, can anything be done? That's what Professor Linda Woodhead is asking in a free lecture as part of Theology and Modernity series taking place at St Bride's in Percy Street. Linda is a Professor of Sociology of Religion at the University of Lancaster and President of Modern Church, an international society promoting liberal Christian theology. Professor Linda Woodhead has been described as one of the world's leading experts on religion. So she joins us now on the line. Good morning, Linda. Good morning. First of all, why are you asking the question now? Why is it the theme for this lecture? It's not just me asking the question. The Church of England leaders are asking the question because the decline of the Church of England has been so enormous that um, all sorts of people are worried now about how it's going to cope. And when you say decline, give us the issues that are making it on, on the decrease then. What, what are the issues? Well, the, whatever index you look at, the Church of England is declining. So um, perhaps the most pressing thing is that the number of people in the pews is declining. Um, so that means that the amount of income that those people give is declining. But things like baptisms and weddings and funerals, all those things are declining as well. And what's your concern, Linda? Well, I'm trying to explain why that might be and uh, also then think about what solutions the church can put in place. And it, can you reveal maybe some of those solutions now? Hmm. Well, um, some of the problems, I think, are, um, are very large ones about the way society's changed. You know, it's the Church of England, and England used to once have a much clearer identity than it does now. Um, it's a church... For the, for the people of England. You know, that's different from the Roman Catholic Church, which is a much more of a world church. So part of that is about um, the church getting better to grips with where we are today as, as the English. Um, part of the problems are internal. It's become a very clerical church, and there's a lot more room for, for, for lay people. Uh, so I think engaging better with its lay people and giving them more room for manoeuvre and more autonomy is one of the solutions. But isn't it about lifestyles? Because Canon Guy Ellsmore from St. Bride's is saying it's regarding uh, the patterns of religious commitment have changed. Would you agree? I would, yes. So um, uh, the Church of England does expect people to um, chiefly show up on a Sunday morning. Uh, that's really not what people want to do anymore. Church going on a Sunday morning is perhaps not the best pattern. The Catholic Church actually sees that um, Saturday evening masses are very, very popular, um, something the Church of England might learn from. Also, people going less regularly uh, and people wanting to vary, not just going for a worship service, but going for um, different kinds of service, for more devotional services, uh, and using churches in different ways. Tell us about the event. What are you hoping to kind of discuss, as in, are you looking for a hit list of, of creating, as you say, some solutions? Yes, I mean, there, I think there are useful tips um, that clergy can learn from, and they can learn from one another in things that are working. Uh, you know, being optimistic, this is a time of transition, and if the church can be really creative and think of new ways to bring people to a, a life-giving encounter with God then it could be a, a, an important turning point. Tell us about Monday. It's, it's taking place at St Bride's, isn't it? Yes, that's right, it is. Um, and I'll be talking about... Uh, I mean, I've been studying this thing for a long time, so I'll be talking about my findings on this. I've got a book coming out very shortly on the topic. Um, but just as importantly, we'll be discussing... There'll be lots of people there who are concerned about this issue. Uh, and I hope there'll be plenty of time for people to learn from each other about what, what they think the problem is and also what they think the solutions are. Now, our, our Church of England listeners might be shouting at the radio as we're talking, Linda, about, I'm quite happy with it, actually. What's she saying? Do you know what I mean? Well, yes, of course, the people who are still going are, um, are likely to be the ones who are happy with it. Um, but the concern is for those people who aren't. Um, and every generation is less likely to call themselves Anglican. Um, so the decline is really about parents not convincing their children to go to church. So it's about younger people. Uh, uh, it's not just exclusively a problem for the Church of England. All, all the churches in this country are seeing this kind of decline, uh, including the Catholic Church, um, and were moved
moving from being a country where most people call themselves Christian to one where more and more, particularly young people, say they have no religion. Uh, so that's the wider picture. And it is, as you say, a, a progression and transition. We must get you back in when the book is ready. It's Professor Linda Woodhead. The lecture is taking place at St Bride's Percy Street tomorrow at 6 o'clock. Refreshments from 5.30. There's no need to book. You can just turn up and there is parking in the church grounds. Linda, thanks for joining us this morning. My pleasure. Thank you.